Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing a demo of The Detective Society, which is a new puzzly escape room tabletop game. And it's on Kickstarter right now. So this is just a demo. This isn't representative of what you would actually be sent from it. It's an idea of the kind of puzzles and the kind of thing that you would get. The actual thing is going to be, the first series of it is going to be six boxes that would be sent to you month by month. And, you know, you would solve the puzzles inside and there would be a narrative that goes from month to month in there to solve. So this isn't what you would actually receive. This is just to give you an idea of the kind of thing that will be in there. So this is a demo. We're just going to play through this special demo kit. So it's not going to spoil anything in the final game either. I'm joined by Rach, who's going to help me solve these puzzles. Hey. And yeah, we, we haven't opened it yet. So this is going to be a chance for us to prove just how clever or really stupid we are in solving these puzzles. So let's have a look. We have case details enclosed, open immediately. So let's have a look inside then. I can't even open an envelope. Doesn't hold out much hope for the solving a big puzzle. I can see a picture frame. I can see something with a combination lock on it. A pencil case. Dear Tom, that's me. Welcome to the Detective Society. We've been recently contacted by a client named Angela Middleton. She runs a small firm of solicitors in Harrogate with her business partner, Mark Carruthers. Recently, Mark has been behaving rather peculiarly, almost secretively, and Angela is concerned that he's up to something that will put their business at risk. She's decided to hire the Detective Society to get to the bottom of what's going on. Mark has gone away for a few days and Angela has managed to send us a few items that she hopes will be able to help you determine what Mark has been getting up to. Good luck, the Detective Society. Let's get all of this out then. So that set us up to what we're doing. We've been hired by Angela to see what's going on with her business partner. So let's see, we have a picture frame have for the attention of the Detective Society. We have this combination locked pencil case <laughs> with all of his best things in that he doesn't want to borrow out to the other kids we have a letter from middleton carruthers and we have some uh, some beautiful gift paper in the bottom of the box just check there isn't a sneaky surprise under here no it's just paper it could be a vital clue though so i'll keep it nearby so let's Let's take these things one at a time then, eh? and let's, let's zoom in a bit. So let's see, we've just got a business card here for Middleton Carruthers. Rick Bat. Bat. Paralegal. That's his phone number and his email address. Might be contacting him before the video's over. For the attention of the Detective Society. So I'm convinced there's going to be something just stuck in an envelope somewhere that we've missed. I don't think there is in there, though. So for the attention of the Detective Society. So, experienced detective required. I don't know why I think the contact does then. Yeah. <laughs> We're experienced. We've played Exit and Unlock and stuff. To whom it may concern, thank you for taking my case. I'm at my wit's end. Recently, I've observed that my business partner, Mark, has been acting suspiciously around me. Whenever I enter our office, he jumps. And if I try to speak to him, he quickly makes an excuse and leaves. I approached him about his behaviour and he snapped at me. I don't know what to do. We're partners at a firm of solicitors and I'm concerned he might be doing something illegal, which would be the end of my career. He keeps all his confidential documents in a padlocked folder. He's away for a few days, so I've taken the folder and sent it to you. I believe that whatever's inside the folder will reveal what he's doing. I know I could just open it with a pair of scissors, but then he'll know I've accessed it, and that's not a risk I'm willing to take. I don't know what you'll need to solve this, so I've also sent you some items that were on his desk. A business card, an internal memo, and a framed photo. I hope they will be of help. If I were you, I'd try to gain access to one of the online file hosting systems he uses. They're private and secure, a good place to store a passcode. As soon as you've got into the folder, please let me know why he's been acting so strangely. And then she puts her email address. Don't send me any photos of what's inside the folder. I'm using an old phone and won't be able to see them. Many thanks, Angela. I'm worried about Angela's work ethic. I know that she's very concerned, but I'm concerned about Angela. Taking all this stuff off his desk. Well, if he really is up to something terrible, it's okay. So let's have a look at the memo. We've got Rick's business card. We've got an internal memo 
for Middleton Carruthers. Mark, I know you keep a lot of important documents on Dropbox.com. And I know how forgetful you are, so I've taken it upon myself, and this took me a while, to remember a password reminder for your account. Drop me a text if you forget your password, and I can send you the reminder. Don't worry if you're texting off a new number. I know you're constantly losing your phone. Just let me know it's you, obviously. You're welcome, Rick. So is this where we need to, we need to text Rick? Oh, yeah. And get a password to dropbox.com. So here we go then. Saved you the arduous journey of typing it out. So we've got the phone number off the business card there. Hi, Rick. Gone and forgot the old Dropbox password again. Any chance of a reminder, old bean? Lots of love, Mark. And let's see how that goes while we investigate the other elements. The phone is silenced, though, so we'll never know. Maybe we'll have to email Rick and see what goes out from there. So we've got this photo. Now... If films have taught us anything, and they haven't, it's that something is surely hidden in this photo. Now, I've already gotten fingerprints all over this, so Angela's going to have to give it a clean if she wants to <gasps> get it back in one piece. So I don't think there's anything on the back there, but, well, the back of the thing, I mean, there's obviously something on the back of the photo. So Mark's 13th birthday, Mark and Jethro. So is that going to be a clue? Is that going to be his oh, password yeah, to something? His password is a bit so thing. yeah, there's there's nothing there's nothing incriminating in the frame itself other than my smeary fingerprints. But we know Mark and Jethro. And that's just that's just a that's just your standard common or garden photo frame back. So don't worry about that. Oh, we've had a response. Classic Mark. So nailed how Mark speaks, by the way. Rach was doubtful. You need your email and password for Dropbox. I'm not helping you with your email. You can find that online, but I'll send your password hint over. Childhood pet underscore your birth year. Okay, then. So we know Jethro is his childhood pet. Oh, well, that could have just been a friend he had. That could have been one of his schoolmates. And he was 13 in 1986. So what's that mean? He was born in April 73. 73. Yeah, that's all we need to know, isn't it? His birth year. So it would be, his pathway is going to be Jethro underscore 1973. I think. So Rach is going to make a quick note of that. And so... Yeah, we don't know if he's got a middle name or not. Do we? Is anything mentioned middle names? Because yeah, we have Angela. Her email is a.y.middleton. Because her name is Angela Middleton. And I'd say Yvonne is probably her middle name. I don't think we've got any information on names of Mark here. Because it could just be m.carruthers at middletoncarruthers.co.uk. Could be, but if he's got a middle name, there's no middle name mentioned there or there. I don't think on anything that we've got so far. So, shall we, shall we just try that on Dropbox? Okay, so we're signing into Dropbox here. So we're saying m.carruthers at Middleton Carruthers. I've just thought, actually, we could go straight to the website first, middletoncarruthers.co.uk. Here it is. So, welcome to Middleton Carruthers for when you need a really great solicitor in Harrogate. And we can help you. Different crimes and laws about us. There's Angela. There's Mark. Looks shifty to me. There's Rick. Gullible old Rick. Giving out passwords. Clients have got some things. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Uh, Middleton Carruthers, we strive to achieve the best possible outcome for our clients, blah, 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 blah. If you'd like to find out about history of our company, helps to put it on camera, uh, then feel free to check out Mark's Twitter account, mcarruthers76. So I think we should check that out. Here we go then. Let's see what Mark's about. There he is again. I'm not following him. He's got, he's got a thousand follow. He's got, no, he's, he's following a thousand. He's got 500 followers. So, die hard man. 
Drink some Yorkshire tea. Biscuit brew. Rach, top fan of the biscuit brew. Got a dog. There's got to be a clue in here somewhere. Through all of this, there's Angela. Sports, 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 sports. If sports have got something to do with it, Desmond Tutu. This passion's in life. Sports and Desmond Tutu. Uh, so I think the one thing, the only thing that's really stood out to me from the Twitter page is can't believe today's the anniversary of meeting my business partner, Angela. Building to Middleton Car with her has been the most fun. Changed my life forever. Can write this embarrassing message on here because she's not on Twitter. Now, I had a little, I can't remember, I think I had a little inkling when we read Angela's letter about him kind of acting strangely and leaving the room when she comes in. I think Mark's got a bit of a, a bit of an old-fashioned crush. A little bit of a crush. It's uh, rather than illegal deeds, I think that's what this is going to amount to. It's going to be just like in Randlin Hopkirk where that waitress was stealing things so the security guy would notice her. Everyone gets that reference, don't they? Jethro was the name of the pet. It was Jethro underscore year, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Underscore. And his birth year was 1973. 1973. Oh, we wrote it down. I did write it down. 1973. I did write Now, I haven't capitalised the J. So we'll just see if... It. Don't remember me. So we'll, we'll see if that works. And if it doesn't work, then maybe it's because I didn't capitalise the J. Invalid. So let's... Wait a minute. Does holding space down not work in passwords? Technical issues. Let's make sure I spell it right as well. Capital J. Jethro. Underscore. 1973. Go. No. Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. <laughs> My top secret password file. Oh, Mark. <laughs> Password for padlocked folder. Day I met Angela. Format DDM. Uh, Rick, if you're reading this, I knew I shouldn't have given you my password. Hint, stay out. Oh, that's cute. Day I met Angela. So I need to get back to Twitter then, don't I? So it's uh, the DDM. So uh, the anniversary of meeting Angela was the 30th of March... So the, pa- the does that mean that the, the padlock, the thing to the padlock is going to be three, zero, the ring. You got to do the honours, Rach, and see what's in here. I don't hardly do. I think you just give it a yank if the thing's right. Or may- well, actually, where do you look at the, maybe you look at the code on the other side. Oh, yeah. There's probably a line. Oh, it's, it's on the edge. Yeah. So there you go. Do the do the lock better than I did too, for a start. It's too hard. <laughs> so you need you need you need some real real skills to be able to turn these tumblers. Hey. Here we go. Dun, 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 this can only be a good sign. Is it going to be a picture of Angela? I think it's going to be some kind of admission. Here we go. Oh, speech to say to Angela. Angela, this has been playing on my mind for some time and I need to get it off my chest. I love you. I have always loved you. I want to take you on walks through the dales and plait your hair in front of a crackling fire. Please say you feel the same way. Oh, Mark, that's cute. So I would say we've, we've got a bit of a dilemma here. That do, do we follow through on our detective instincts and email Angela Middleton? It's part I of know, the I, job. I, I guess we need to stay in business, don't we? So here we go then. And here's a glimpse of my email address. Although you, you can get that off the channel anyway. Uh, so, hello, Angela. I told you we'd get results. And here are those results that we got here now. Mark's in love with you or possibly your hair. He seemed very keen on doing things to it. Hugs and kisses, the top smart detectives. So let's send that off and see if Angela just happens to be at her computer right now, ready to reply. she feels the same and it's a happy ending. Well, you know, sometimes on a detective journey, you never know how things are going to go. Love and detection don't mix. 
Oh, and a couple of minutes later, we have had a reply. Angela, your email font is a little bit small, I think. Oh my goodness, that's what was in the folder. Wow, I was not expecting that. Well, I guess that's not going to make work a little awkward, but at least he's not killed anyone. Well, we don't know that, Angela. We just know that he's in love with you. We, we weren't asked to confirm that he hasn't killed anyone. No. We've got no evidence for or against that. Maybe we'll go out for dinner sometime. Her and Mark or her and us? I hope maybe it's she, Mark. Maybe she's really keen on the detectives now. Thanks so much for your help in solving this case. You're clearly a great detective. Well, you are very perceptive, Angela. If I ever have something that requires your help again, I'll be sure to contact the Detective Society. Kind regards, Angela. That's a, Oh, that would have been a perfect time to bring the logo in, but that's the bottom of the box, not the lid. There we go. Pretend that happened straight away. So that was the demo of the Detective Society. Again, this isn't what you would get in a box of it, although, but it gives you a good idea of what you would get in a box of it. The kind of puzzles, the kind of, you know, physical elements and, you know, taking the back of a photo and looking in the back of it and doing some detective work with the computers and stuff. So if you're just in it for the demo, that is the end of the demo. The Kickstarter campaign page is in the description and you can click there now to go and have a look at it. If you'd like to know what I think about the game, then you can click the link in the description or the corner of the screen and I'll take you to a little video where I say that. There are also plenty of other videos on the channel if you fancy watching a playthrough. There's about 350 more on the channel as well. Whatever you do, thank you for watching this and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.